natural growth like these guys here that is so cool <laughs> welcome to that Oregon life right this is McKinsey River and I'm right out in a little town called Jasper right across the street from the Jasper's market uh, just under the bridge there and it's a beautiful place it's very peaceful to come down here and just talk to people and, and just enjoy yourself. Okay, so these places you come down to are always going to have garbage. Okay? Hardly any of this stuff was mine. But check it out. When you come down here, don't be these people, please. You see that? Doesn't take much to be a, a decent human being and not do this crap. So the ones that are out there doing this shit, I get to come out here and clean it up for you. Jack in a box. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast of the champions. These up here, if you're homeless or just down here chilling, I understand. Dental hygiene, throw them away. Remember, I'm out here doing this with a messed up back. I can do it, you can do it. That ain't gonna rot. For real, y'all. There's a whole bag of donuts down here. Garbage, more trash, people having fires. Let me get to it. some bugs <laughs> okay guys after doing that cleanup I was on my way back over here to where we kicked it for a bit and this stuff this would literally cost you like four or five bucks to take to the dump and toss but humans will be humans let's just bring it down here down this road Right to this spot, back their truck up, drop it, and then take back off up and out of here. 
in this beautiful spot, just right here. It's blocked by a stump so people would stop coming back here and turn it up. But there's so many cool places, they would let us come down here and enjoy if they didn't have to come back here and clean up after everybody, right? They've already come back here, cleaned up once. So, anyway, we got a little trail. This goes all up and down the river here. Like, literally, you can follow this all up the river. But, they got tired of picking up people's trash down here. And this is one of my favorite places to come down to Kickens. Right here on the McKenzie River. It's not too far from town. I can hang out here until I need a recharge. And I can plug in my generator, recharge the batteries that way. If it's a sunny day like it is today, I can deploy my panels for solar. And, uh charge my batteries like that. So I picked this up, a whole big thing of wire here. Didn't see that on the way up here. But that is literally, you can still see it, right? Right back here, probably about 50 feet from me. I know it's kind of hard telling GoPros. Another 50 feet, maybe 70 feet from me. That's where it's gonna wind up. The rain comes, the rivers rise. That's where it's gonna wind up. And you see, we're just out here chilling, really enjoying, uh, really enjoying the day out here. And uh, just like as promised, I go through, and once we're done, I'll pick up most of the trash in the general area, whatever I deem that I could pick up. I mean, I could pick it all up, but I don't have gloves and stuff yet. But I do my best. But I mean, that—that's hurtful stuff. <laughs> but just the, the beauty of this place, you know, people actually come down here and clean off the walls of the graffiti that these stupid kids like to come down. We got gentlemen that like to come down here and, and uh, enjoy the river, you know. But there's not too many places that raised beauty like that, you know? People come down here all the time. This gentleman is down here to pick up his boat. So I'm gonna get out of his way so he can do that. But for the most part, they do care up here. All that trash I went and picked up, that's from some just stupid individuals, okay? Not everybody up here is like that. These gentlemen and uh, folks that I'm kicking it with here, they're um, huge advocates of what I do. And they say everywhere they go, they're always packing out more than they brought as far as trash. It only takes just that little bit of little bit of effort you see what I'm doing like right now my whole right leg is throbbing because I've got a pinched sciatic and it's from a couple of slip discs from my back issues that I have so right now my back is throbbing standing here but I don't care because this world is too beautiful to just watch it go to shit Enjoy play. Oh. oh there's puppies excited <laughs> you get go fishing <laughs> And sooner or later, guys, I probably will break down and get me another doggy dog because, well, I miss it. It gets kind of lonely if you don't have anybody out here to, to hang out with and talk to. I miss having my boy around. Anyway, sorry about that lighting. I don't mean to get the sun in your guys' face. I'm trying to block you with my hat here. But this is what it is. People like this gentleman here. So he's going to go over here. He's going to grab his boat right there pull it around the pillar and come up here and load it on his truck and this gentleman I talked to earlier he's been out here for doing this for years and years and years so all right here he goes that's a pro right there yep boom that's what's up pop it out he's ready to go
Do you guys want to go say hi to a cute little chocolate lab? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at these guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm just out here picking up all this trash and stuff. And oh, I just wanted to come film these little guys here. Ha! Oh, look at you, guy. Look at you, babies. Is he male, female? Oh, you just look at those eyes. Look at you. Look at you. You're just the sweetest little thing. You're the sweetest little thing. You just want to bite. You just want to bite. You just want to bite, huh? You just want to bite. Oh, baby. Look at that face. See? A lot of the reasons why I come out here and do this and picking up glass and stuff is so little feet like these guys, they don't get cut up. Got to be able to come down here and enjoy your animals, okay? Um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. And this is why I'm trying to get everybody's attention to come out here and help me make this happen. And uh, we're gonna enjoy the rest of this day. Already picked up a bunch of crap. Uh, got a whole bag full of it. And I'll tell you what, this camp down here, that's the bag we just picked up, right? Looks way better down here. That white thing over there, it's a little bit of, that's a little cotton from a cattail from a pond up river or something. And then I didn't want to throw away somebody's dog toy. Okay. So that can stay there. But this is why we got to preserve the beauty of these places, guys. So gentlemen like this can come out here and enjoy and, and uh, not have to worry about dirty refuse and come out to enjoy his uh his day of fishing because this is his piece just like camping and fishing really that's all my piece last thing i want is disturbed by somebody's ruckus out here and seeing somebody's needles and all that stuff i am trained to pick that stuff up you guys see me picking up needles don't yell at me i know how to pick them up properly cap them and i do put them in a sharps container of some sort and i usually go drop them off at the hospital if I find any of that stuff out here. So I, I am an advocate of picking up that kind of crap, but if you're not comfortable doing it, don't. Stay away from it, tell somebody else about it, let them deal with it if they know how, okay? Don't need anybody ever getting some weird, crazy diseases. Okay, so I get the camera back on because I wanna show you guys kind of a magical moment that doesn't happen enough with families and kids and parents together and uh, the things that you could actually look forward to seeing in life when you come out and enjoy nature and you really just you know you see things come along that you just cannot pick up the camera and film it because to me it's near and dear um, and I would give anything to do this with some of my folks again but let me show you I had to go get a vantage place so I didn't disturb it but check this out That is either a father or a grandfather, I can't tell. It's either his father or his grandfather out here teaching his boy how to fish for trout. And if you get them outside, if you get them outside and teach them something like this and really just enjoy that, even the comfortable silence around each other with your family, uh, your boy, anything like that, honestly, Get them off the video games. Get them out here and show them how beautiful these places are while they're young and so they can learn to respect these places when they grow up, right? So, I'm gonna stand here and I'm actually gonna go around the corner where I can get a better view. I just wanna show you, it's kind of a cool shot over the grass weeds here. <laughs> it was really awesome. I saw them walk down here and I said I have to film this because that was a really precious moment that not too many, almost bit it right there, not too many people get to do anymore, so. Sorry about the sun, guys. I'm trying to keep you in the shade of my head here.
ran into a gentleman that comes down here and actually helps out with um, a little bit of cleanup, some homeless and stuff like that. Feeds them, gives them blankets. And this is a really cool dude and I want you guys to meet, okay? So we're actually gonna go over here Dan, and meet my So cat. this is Dan, he's coming down here. He comes down here a lot and helps with the, with the homeless and, and everything. He's coming down here, he's actually passing out toilet paper to people. Like, like toilet paper, Like guys. toilet paper, right? It's a must have when you're out here. Yeah, you gotta have toilet paper. I actually gave one of the big uh, things, the baby wipes that I bought at Walmart, I gave it to one of the gentlemen that's out here camping at this spot uh, for now. Nice. And uh, this gentleman right here really comes out and he helps people. This is the kind of people Go ahead and give that to somebody hey, else no, for I, me. I appreciate me, what you okay? do, brother. I and, appreciate uh, what you do. This guy is a genuine guy, and this is what we need to be as humans and as humanity. So, right? Hashtag humanity. Amen. That's right. Right? This is a prime example of the kind of guys that you get out here that come out and just help people because they have a heart. And if you have a heart, you're going to do what I do. You're going to do what he does. You're going to do what we all do out here to help out our brethren, our fellow people, even if they're in hard times. Right, Dan? That's right, absolutely. And if, if you're tuning in, don't know where you're tuning in, put a hashtag one if you're in Oregon, put a hashtag two or more numbers if you're out of the state. We'd love to uh, to know where you're tuning in from. Absolutely, and if you guys wanna send us some videos, even if you guys just pick up one candy wrapper, yeah. please send that in and show me. I love to see that stuff. I'm sure he's gonna be on the channel watching and he's gonna love to see you guys do that stuff. And if you wanna just help out some people, and uh, you guys saw the video I had last time. I literally pulled my blanket out of my own truck and went and gave it to that person. That's that's from the heart. This guy's right got on, the heart, man. right? No, man. That's, that is, that's that the heart awesome. that we need. Thank and um, we need more people like us we out here. We need it right now in our country. Our country is divided because of everything going on. And yeah. just the action, what this, this man is taking, we can duplicate that. That's going to be a world pool. It's going to be a trip Absolutely. down. It's going to be a trip Absolutely. down. And it's going to affect everybody all around the United States of America. We and love our country. We do love our country. Yes. America. Amen. And I'll tell you this right now. If you guys come out here and you meet people like this, come up and shake their hand. Don't yeah. be afraid. Don't come, come up and shake, shake my hand. Shake his hand. If you're in the area and you just want to swing out here and, and show some presence, please. We welcome it. We want you guys to come out here with us and really just try to spread this word that we need to keep this place Thanks, beautiful, Shane. right? Appreciate and Dan, I thank you. Right. I appreciate you. Thank, thank you, you for uh, thank you for being yeah. on video. Let me give you a lefty Absolutely. here. All right. Absolutely. Thank come you, Dan. Come on down, guys. Come on down. Please, come down and hang out with people. Come you know, down. a lot of these people don't have families anymore, and if you come down here and just say hello, you don't have to be scared. Okay? You really don't have to be scared. Um, you meet some genuine people out here. You'll meet more genuine people out here doing this than you will at any job, any profession, any store, anything. These people matter. These people care, okay? I care. I hope you care too, because we gotta do something, guys. You know, and he, check it out. He's coming out here giving people lanterns, right? Propane. Cooking pans right this dude is a real dude okay he comes out here and he does it he makes sure that these people can have a good life just like everybody else deserves and he does it on his own time he's not funded i'm not funded and we do this out of our hearts i really hope you guys can too and i also wanted to show you this we've got becky and brian over here and mary <laughs> so they're over here shooting BB guns out of the passenger side of their car, right? And they're hitting these cans. Let me see if, uh, let me get zoom on here, right? Just got some cans in the tree. Don't worry, we're gonna take them down when we're done and toss them in our can, can bag and stuff. And uh, they're huge advocates of what we do out here as well, right? You can come out and shoot some BBs and stuff and just enjoy, you know? So. You see what we're doing out here tonight. The light's low. We're just kicking it with some people that really want to come down and just enjoy freedom, enjoy life, enjoy doing something. If you've got a relationship with a friend of yours, girlfriend, wife, and you guys can literally just sit in your car and shoot BBs from the passenger side for days, for days all over there at those cans. And like, literally, look. 
you guys can get out here and do this stuff man you don't have to sit at home this covid shit's got everybody knocked down don't worry about it come out here enjoy stuff help me clean up a bit too because well <laughs> it needs it <sighs> guys i appreciate you tuning in i'm your boy jay aka Pumpkinhead raw come and help me out come help him out come out and do what they're doing come out and do what he's doing it only takes one act of kindness to be human right let's not be disgusting let's do what we can do to really represent what we can be let's be the cure pack it in pack it out don't forget if you can pack out more than you brought with you because a lot of people don't I don't like seeing it out here I know you guys don't like seeing it out here I know they don't like seeing it out here let's do what we can do to come out here and actually enjoy and uh, have some fun okay please like share and subscribe if you like what you see out here you like what I do you like the people that I meet come hang out with me and uh, do me a favor please pack it out Back out more. It doesn't take much. I'm out here with a screwed up back and I can do it. I know you guys can do it too. Anyway, guys, like I said, like, share, subscribe. If you like what I do, you like what I'm out here doing, uh, please hook it up. Help your boy out. I need to be able to come out here and do this full time and be advocates for these people. Okay. Can I have a trash bag? You can have a trash bag. See, Becky is looking for a trash bag. Okay. She's you meet good people out here. Come out and enjoy. Share my videos. See you guys on the next one. Later. Okay, guys, so I know it's not much, but uh, there's a gentleman that came down here. He's got an injured leg. Um, they towed his car, and uh, he's literally got a jacket to sleep in. So, a couple blankets here. This is the one I usually keep down, keep with me for a doggy blanket, just in case somebody has a dog, and. They're an old senior and they need to lay on something. I'm going to give that to them to put down as a bed on over here. And then I got a big, nice, thick uh, unicorn blanket donated by my, uh, my nieces for me to come out here and possibly give to somebody. So that's what I'm going to do. I want you all to follow along, okay? Now, granted, we're just walking over here. Donated by my niece, okay, mm -hmm. to give to somebody who's in need. It's a nice and warm blanket. Look up, me. Jay, you, you got such a big night, heart, brother. Okay. Look up, thank you. Yeah, you got such a big heart, man. That was awesome. It's pretty fucking dope. That's a warm bed by the fire here. Fuck that yeah. is awesome. You got it, partner. Anytime. Thank you. This is what we got to do, guys. Take care of your fellow brethren. Yeah, man. You guys.